Depending on the work you're doing at any particular moment, you might want to turn off textures and polypaint to just see the forms of the model without any color distracting you. Then a moment later, you might want to look at the polypaint, and then after that, look at a texture map that's applied to it, and then back to a untextured clay version again. With the default settings in ZBrush, it can be cumbersome to switch back and forth, so let's create some custom macros to make this easier for us. Okay, you can see here in ZBrush, we've got a model and it has polypaint applied. And let's say that we want to switch to a material that makes it easier to see the form without any color information. So matte cap skin 06 is pretty good for that. Okay, so if we want to sculpt the form, however, we don't want to see the polypaint color, so we would want to turn that off. Now let's say we want to work with a texture map. And let's say we've got a different texture map on, so let's turn that on. But now it's kind of confusing with the texture map, there's white and black information, but because the material has color, we want to come back to a different material like skin shade now to see that texture map. Now let's say if we want to go back to the poly paint, we go and turn on colorize, but now there's another thing to look out for. Whenever there's a poly paint and texture map on at the same time on your model, the texture map always takes precedence. So you want to turn off the texture map so you can see the poly paint. So this becomes a lot of different settings that kind of conflict with each other all at the same time. So with a macro, we can make this a lot easier to deal with. Now one thing about macros is that you're going to be recording all of your button presses. So let's say if you want to have a macro where you're turning on the poly paint colorize, you need to start the macro with colorize turned off so that when you run the macro, you can click colorize and turn it on. So let's think about this and let's start out with a macro that turns off the poly paint, turns off the texture map and switches to a material that's good for sculpting form. So let's kind of have it set to the opposite of what we want so that we can then turn it into what we want with the macro. Okay, so we've got poly paint and texture map turned on and we've got a material that's something other than a good form sculpting material. So let's go up to macro and let's make a new macro. And let's always hit no in this instance, even though it recommends yes, we should press no unless we really know what we're doing. Okay, so now we can go ahead and turn off texture. Let's go to poly paint, turn off colorize, and then we'll go to our material and let's get something that's good for sculpting form like skin six. All right, looks good. So we can go to macro and end macro. And now we want to save this in our ZBrush program files folder. So let's go into our program files. ZBrush is under x86. We'll just find the pixel logic folder here. Go into your ZBrush version. And now we'll come down to Z startup and macros. And we want to save in the misc folder. Otherwise, ZBrush won't recognize it. And let's just call this clay mode. Okay, so we've saved that. Now let's make a macro for going into poly paint mode. So for this, we want to have a texture turned on before we start the macro so that we can turn it off in the macro. And then for poly paint, we want it to be off so that we can turn it on in the macro. Okay, so let's record a macro for this. Macro, new macro, remember to hit no. And now we'll just go through and set it to the opposite of where we had it prepared for. So turning poly paint on, texture off, and switching to a material that's good for looking at color like skin shade four. All right, that's good. We'll go to macro end of macro. And now we're in that default directory for the macros. So we don't have to go through all those folders again to find that. And we'll just set this to poly paint. Okay, just one more to do. Let's set it to a material other than what we want for texture. This is going to be switching for turning texture on. So let's make sure it's off by default poly paint. Okay, it's on right now. So let's go back and record this third macro new macro, click no, we'll turn off colorize, texture map, we'll turn that on. And now we'll pick a good material for looking at texture like skin shade four. All right, that's good. Go back to macro, we'll end that macro. And let's call this one texture. Okay, now we've made four macros. Let's put them into our default interface. So we always have easy access to them. So let's go to preferences, enable customize, Go into macro, 
And I'm just going to hold down Control and Alt and drag these new macros that we've made into our interface. Poly paint. And one more texture. All right, so hopefully, if we did everything right, this should be very easy to switch to these different modes. So clay mode, poly paint, texture. All right, works perfectly. No matter which mode you're in, it's just a single button press as opposed to going into your materials, picking a material, going into texture map, setting that to where you want it to be, going into poly paint, setting where that where you want it to be. Now it's very simple and straightforward. I actually have these set to hotkeys in my interface because I use them so often.